the water cycle. Hi, my name is Fernanda. Hi, my name is Jacqueline. And today we're going to be talking to you guys about the water cycle. The water cycle is when water is transported and filtered through our environment. The first step is evaporation. This is where the sun heats up an ocean, a lake, a river, any type of body, of ocean body, and it is turned into water vapor. So the sun heats up the ocean, as the water vapor is turning, is going up, it is purified, which the ocean leaves behind as well. In the cases of rivers or dried up pu pu puddles, the water is sometimes completely dried up, so there's nothing except the water vapor into the sun. So the next step is condensation. Condensation is when uh, the water, which is in a high temperature, goes up, rises, and the farther it goes up in the sky, the lower the temperature is going to be. Um, this is going to form clouds, and the clouds are um, going to come together. And when they get too heavy, they're going to turn into liquid. And that liquid is going to run in a stream or a river or anything like that. And that is going to be called precipitation. So in our precipitation stage, when the clouds are heavy, they come down. But it doesn't always have to come down as rain. It can come down as snow, sleet, hail, hail and many other things, but the main thing is rain. When it comes down, it goes back into the rivers and then groundwater. It also goes back into our oceans and it just gets back to our environment as it took out. So overall, the water cycle starts with evaporation from any groundwater that's below to our surface. The water vapor goes up thanks to the heating of the sun when that water vapor goes up, it collects into big forms of clouds. It can be any type of clouds. Once these clouds reach an altitude that's high enough, the temperature lowers. And depending on our weathers on Earth here, the clouds, the water vapor turns into a liquid or a gas. It can snow here, it can start raining. It just all depends on the temperature we have on Earth. After the clouds get too heavy, the precipitation comes down and it goes off into rivers and back to the groundwaters. And then the cycle just starts all over again. And this is how the water cycle goes through our whole environment. Um, so for the key terms that are very important to remember are uh, evaporation, which means heat from the sun causes water on earth to evaporate. Uh, this water vapor collects in the sky in the form of clouds. And then we also have condensation. Condensation as well as water vapor in the clouds cools down, it becomes water again. This process is called condensation. Um, then we have precipitation, which means that um, water falls from the sky in the form of rain, snow, hail, or sleet. This process is called precipitation. And then for the last one, we have trans transpiration, which means uh, it's a process similar to sweating. Uh, plants lose water, which is absorbed into the atmosphere, much like evaporation. The combination of evaporation and transpiration is known as evapotranspiration. Evapotranspiration. <laughs> so water is a very vital part. Uh, Water is all around us, and it's in the life that is all around us as well. It's key to our living and to our survival in this earth. As you can see, all of these steps are vital, and if there's any interruption, it could cause a lot of damage down the line for all life. This is our water cycle. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching. Water is all around us, and it's in the life that is all around us as well. It's key to our living and to our survival in this earth. As you can see, all of these steps are vital, and if there's any interruption, it could cause a lot of damage down the line for all life. This is our water cycle. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching.